Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a new episode of EVE Echoes. I'm Chica Forza, your host, always, today and every day. Um, today we are going to uh, take a look at encounters, how you do them, what they represent, how you benefit the most out of them. Now, before we get into the video, uh, remember the EVE pre the Eve Echoes pre-release beta has come to an end. Uh, the game servers are currently uh, off-limits, uh, but I did manage to um, film some stuff in advance, so um, we can call them recycled, but they're not actually recycled, I just managed to fill them before the servers came offline. Now, remember, before we go into the video, please throw in a like if you enjoy what we are doing here it helps with the channel visibility and making the videos and the content that we are doing here uh, available to a lot more folks uh, and also make sure you subscribe if you want to follow this channel uh, regarding eve content or any other game that we might play here uh, and of course, if you really want to uh, support the channel and help it grow and help me provide more content and keep the channel alive, we've got the channel membership. If you are following us already and you're a subscriber, there's a join button, you can click on it and you'll see uh, some various levels of donations, uh, pretty small donations, uh, anything uh, can help this channel stay alive and basically uh, help me out with creating content for you guys to enjoy. Now, without further ado, let's get into Encounters. Now we all know uh, the EVE Online mission system and how you need to run between the agents or find a decent system with some agents inside so you can basically uh, farm missions uh, all the way up to uh, tier 4 tier 5 depends on what you want to achieve in eve echoes the encounter system is a lot more simplified it's all revolving around a uh, mission panel and you, you have several options that you can pick from and you basically just uh, click on those accept them uh, progress and you can uh, earn some decent uh, uh, some decent isk uh, also the um, the rewards from killing the uh, pirate NPCs uh, plus you may have the chance to get some interesting items as well of course you can run encounters with a friend and uh, you just do the pew pew and he does all the looting um, the encounter system is pretty simple as i mentioned the panel here uh, provides you with the news board and the news board offers you uh, the missions uh, now the journal here on the right side of the screen contains the missions that we have already accepted uh, once you have accepted a mission it will pop up into the journal and you can basically just uh, um, complete them in whatever order. There's no penalty for declining yet. I uh, haven't seen either in the uh, open beta nor in the pre-release beta. Uh, so you can basically just uh, either skip them or abandon them if they're too hard for you or uh, you just don't have time to finish them all. Uh, now, the interface is pretty simple. You've got a filter, you've got a refresh button and you have a difficulty drop down. Now for the um, filters, it depends on what encounters you want to make uh, to uh, actually to take and complete. You've got uh, the, um, the combat, you've got the um, investigation, you've got the mining, and you've got the um, transport. Now, transport it usually means hauling. Um, uh, investigation just uh, scout some areas and report back to your agent, and mining just mine a specific quantity of a specific ore or multiple and uh, report back to the agent. Um, one thing to point out is the three difficulty levels. You've got the beginner, the advanced, and the expert. Uh, and to give you an example, the beginner, uh, just uh, small, easy anomalies, or uh, haul just one cubic meter, or mine some small quantities of ore. And towards uh, expert, you have to mine industrial quantities and uh, stuff like that. Uh, of course, the, uh, the combat sites become even more harder to do. You need bigger ships, like the tier level is uh, given by by the drop down it tells you exactly what you should do um, now for missions you can see that every mission is part of something bigger and um, these are called story arcs 
the story arcs, you can enable one story arc once you complete all the assignments uh, associated uh, with that story arc. Meaning that, uh, for example, if you complete all the six uh, encounters for a one specific story arc, uh, there, there are multiple story arcs and each have, uh, I think, three, four, five, seven um, different encounters that you need, specific encounters that you need to do. Uh, once you complete those, you'll be able to claim a mission um, item that you can activate and it will start a conversation with a story arc agent that will basically uh, guide you to completing that story specific story arc. Now the rewards for the story arc, um, they're pretty interesting. In, in the open beta there were like uh, faction items. Now in the pre-release beta this has changed and you can see we are getting a container. Uh, in this case, uh, a supply chest uh, for Hunter depends on what story arc you're doing. Uh, some items might be for tanking, some items might be for mining, like uh, faction mining or strip mining uh, lasers. Um, <clears throat> and of course, probably for combat, you'll get like uh, tank or damage modules uh, to fit on your ship or if you just want to sell them on the market, if you have no use for them, I don't know, whatever floats your boat. Now, one important thing about the story arcs, they are difficult. I mean, you can complete um, the assignments for a story arc in beginner mode, uh, but be mindful, do not venture into a story arc with a, big, uh, a ship that you've done beginner encounters. Why? Because um, you'll basically get podded by the NPCs. <laughs> uh, the NPCs in the story arcs um, among the uh, normal ones and they're probably bigger because you'll see a story arc usually has um, a requirement of tier 5, tier 6, tier 7 sometimes. Uh, among them there'll be uh, some elite pirate NPCs. Now elite pirate NPCs have incredible uh, resistances, incredible damage uh, and they're pretty hard to remove even with uh, with uh, doing it in in uh, in a gang, uh, you might lose some people uh, <laughs> on the way. Uh, that's it, it's it, they're pretty difficult to do. Uh, now the beginner and advanced, they're pretty much simple to complete, even with a destroyer uh, like a nano uh, destroyer or a long range destroyer like the Algos with drones or. Um, in close range uh, brawling and nano uh, kiting and actually not nano kiting nano tanking we've got the thrasher too that uh, uh, does extremely well against um, against advanced mission uh, getting rid of those cruisers fast with uh, 400 almost 500 dps so they're pretty uh, easy to do but do not take the destroyer into the mission arcs you'll get murdered in there uh, do those in cruisers. Um, some people recommend flying Kaldari ships uh, because the missiles help you kite long range, but be mindful, um, the elites also web you, they also scram you, and they've got like an insane range that they can just shoot you out of the sky with. Um, that's pretty much it about how the encounter system works. You just click on it and you... Um, uh, you basically accept it and um, uh, one more uh, thing that I'd like to add um, you can actually warp into your optimals they've introduced something with the pre-release better uh, back in the OBT it wasn't there uh, so when you reach uh, the system uh, that the encounter you want to complete is in, uh, you'll get notified by the autopilot that uh, you'll not warp there immediately. In the OBT, you just warp there, and if you like fell asleep, you'd die. Uh, you're gonna sit nicely uh, on the gate where you landed, and a uh, notification will pop up asking you if you want to confirm to warp into the uh, combat system to the combat site. Uh, you can choose not to. The combat site will still appear in the anomalies in the overview and you can basically choose where to warp at and I'd recommend warping at your optimals because that is uh, great. Uh, you can kite them, you can do whatever you like and it helps uh, completing them faster. So um, 
that's all the things that I had to teach you about encounters. Um, thank you guys for watching. A very, very big shout out to my channel supporters. And I'll see you guys next time with yet another tutorial. Cheers.